folks living down in Galveston preparing their homes along with businesses for the flooding beta could bring in the coming days. In fact, many on the island already getting a preview of what's to come with some spots seeing high water tonight. Channel 2's Bill Barajas live in the Teichman Point neighborhood of Offutt's Bayou tonight. Bill? Well, as you mentioned, the high tide already causing issues, mainly with the rising water levels. Now, we are at a home in the Teichman Point area off of Offutt's Bayou. You can see the water here has come up quite a bit in the last few hours. When we first talked to the homeowner, he had said the water had actually receded a bit. That has changed over the last hour or so that we've been here. The water coming up all the way, the stairs there of the home. This, again, nothing new for folks here in Galveston, many, which, many of which are bracing for the worst and hoping for the best. You know, the idea is that we have these boats lifted high enough to where even if it does, you know, it'll it'll try to try to float. Storm preps are well underway. Some people are leaving them in. Um, we're we're going to pray for the best. Michael Marquez, or Captain Sharky as he's known, makes a living off these waters. He spent the day securing his boats and rods. To see that it's already this high, you know, I mean, it's it's above the finger piers. I'm going to at least expect the storm surge to bring it up somewhere in this level. You can see on this, it was, it, it's probably an inch or two lower than it was. Others, like John Miller, plan to evacuate. High tide already causing problems in his neighborhood. Miller lives in the Teichman Point area. He's been here for about 15 years. Right. This is the second time this month. Uh, I think the other one was called Laura. Mm -hmm. uh, we left for Laura. Um, and during Laura, the water got just to the edge of my garage. And it's just not worth it for us to stay. I mean, getting trapped in your home and water everywhere is just not a fun thing to do. Not fun at all. Baby Bowers Street on 59th and Herd's Lane is also seeing lots of water. She tells us she's been through this too many times. She doesn't even bother to board up anymore. During Ike, we did that. Then it still broke all my window. My husband said no more. If it's broke, it's broke. And Miller says he'll be keeping a close eye on the water levels throughout the night. He plans to take off tomorrow morning and hopes all is well when he returns home. Live in Galveston, Bill Barajas, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Bill, thank you. And all along